Hi guys, today's review is all about the Remington RX5 electric head shaver. It's the rotary style head shaver that's dedicated for shaving people's heads. We'll take a look at the features and the design of the head shaver. Then I'll do a quick head shave and I'll run through some of the pros and cons of how I see, see them, the costs, and then plus we'll round it up with some suggestions of what you might want to take a look at next. My name is Jason, I'm from shavenadvisor.com, which is a website that covers a lot of reviews of men's grooming products and men's grooming tips and advice. And one of the things that I specifically cover is a lot of is head shavers, electric head shavers and, and other manual razors. Now, if you're from the USA, this head shaver in the USA is called the Remington Border Pro. I've covered a video in that in the past, but the RX5 is for outside of the US, like Europe, the UK, Australia, if you take a look at this video and you've seen a ball the pro video it's a, it's the same it's the same shaver the only difference is going to be the cost and where you purchase it from if i was to cut to the chase and give you some quick advice this is a decent head shaver better than a lot of the others and if you take a look at my my web page that has a review of all the best head shavers this is one of the top top ones but i i suggest you take a good look at the review and see what else i have to say about it and the pros and cons Okay, let's unbox it and take a look at the features. First of all, you get 50 minutes run time. So four hours of charge and you'll get 50 minutes of run time on this. Plus it's 100% waterproof, which means you can use it shaving wet, wet or dry. Of course, I've unboxed this in the past, but I'm just showing you guys what's inside. We have the shaver, blade cover, instruction leaflet, charging cord, a small bottle of oil for oiling the blades, travel pouch, and a cleaning brush. The blade cover protects the blades. These blades all flex in and out together along the contours of the head. To remove the blades, there's a section here. Here is a collection chamber where all the debris gets collected. As well as these flex in, this also pivots in various directions. This is the rubberized grip area. That's how it holds. This here is a detail trimmer for cutting in the sideburns or any hairs you find difficult to get with a shaver. You can remove the whole blade head just by pulling here. If you notice there, there's a hexagon shape here. That's fits back in together when you have to replace the head. The power button here is tucked away, not, not, not too conspicuous in the way at all. The, there's no indication light when it's switched on, but if the battery begins to lose charge, an indicator light will come on. Plus, when you put it on to charge, this, the indicator light will come on. Now for one of the important parts is to shave my head. Now this, I've only got a short amount of growth there, but these are meant to be used really for shaving, any electric head shavers, for shaving every two, two or three days maximum or even daily. If it's um, above two or three days, I would use a hair clippers, you know, or a hair, a hair trimmer, some sort of trimmers on them. While I'm here, I'll mention this, which is the Remington Shortcut Pro in the US and outside of the US it's called the Quick Cut Pro which is a brilliant little trimmer this has a wide blade you can just you can trim very quickly but yeah you know make sure that the hair is not too long because it will help protect the blades the blades going to last long and it's going to it's going to be a quick shave you know Remington says that they can get their head shaved done in two minutes we'll probably see that now if the hair is very short you will get that I mean, have a small amount of growth you'll notice on my head that I have um, you know, I, I have a, I received from here going all the way around. Now this is difficult to get rid of with any electrical head shaver, and I will get rid of it with a, a manual razor. But by five o'clock, I get the five o'clock shadow into a shadow that goes whoop, all around, all the way around there. Okay, let's go. Now this one. I just want to point out something that I mentioned in the pros and cons, rather the cons, is that it's nice to have this large blade area, but look out for where it 
it's overlapping and not getting not sitting close on the head you'll see there that a gap as I turn around there a gap just see a gap there it's no big deal breaker but I just noticed it okay for the ears there I always put around here it's because hair gets left here with a lot of electrical head shavers it's just to pull the ear down this shaver generally gets rid of all of that easy enough If your head's anything like mine as well here you can get stubble left now to get that a little bit closer to a bit a bit of a closer shave you just pull the skin back tight like that pull the skin taut I don't forget this can be used shaving wet or dry and if you're new to using this shave or electric head shaver you might want to use it wet for the first few times because it will help your skin get used to using an electric shaver on it and especially the back part of the neck because that's where you can pick up irritation from electric shavers is right at the back but wet shaving with some sort of shaving foam or cream will will help you help all that and help you get used to it or rather your skin get used to it okay job done that's and that's close enough not quite as close as a manual razor there's slight bits of stubble there you know very very slight and that was nice and comfortable and yeah a couple of minutes quick job after every shave we should give this give them a clean up and this is easy enough to, to clean up first thing to do is take off the blades Give it a blow inside <laughs> then give it a brush where you can get the main bits of the debris out then what i always do is pop a little bit of antibacterial soap inside that gets them a bit fresher then run it under the tap switch it on run it under the tap that's it then just stand them somewhere to dry job done now for the pros and cons i like the way the blades flex in and out along the various contours of the head i like this chamber here that collects debris not all head shavers have a good chamber like this which means that the blades will get clogged easier these are, are very, don't get clogged as easy and they're easy to clean out i like the rubberized grip on the sides both sides also it holds well it fits well in the palm of the hand the pivoting head is a useful feature as well that not all head shavers have which makes sense when you think about the contours various contours of the head that need a shaver to move along as a couple of extras i quite like this blade cover to protect the blades also this is not a deal break of course only a bag but i I quite like this little travel pouch, travel bag. You can just about fit the cord inside as well, the power cord. The Remington's head shavers have been a little more reliable uh, based on longevity of the battery compared to a lot of other brands. Some of these other brands, though, they have improved, like School Shaver. School Shaver, I know it has improved that the battery is dying very quick within a few months. So cons or things I don't like quite as much. Now this large blade area, it's good to have a large blade area. But what can happen though is that when this is shaved along the contours of the head, there can become a gap 
um, it's not hugging to the head quite as well if that makes sense then also although these flex in and out if we take a look at one of the, the school shavers this is a school shaver pitbull platinum you'll notice that these flex in and out but also this can be difficult to show but I'll, I will get there there they, they flex in and out as well so that is that that is a lot better while this detail trimmer seems very useful it's it doesn't do very much it's um, close to useless really but we kind of ignore that as part of the shaver really the cost of the rx5 in the uk it's around about 57 pound at this moment on amazon it's it costs more a little bit more than that on the remington website in europe it's probably around about 60 something euros but it's not as expensive as some of the school, school shaver head shavers it's a bit more expensive than some of the cheap cheaper ones on amazon but it's 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 not a bad price and then we like replace them and the replacement blades in the uk cost around about 25 pound that should be replaced every around about every six months that's used them every couple of days but they can last they can last a lot longer than that if you take care of them out of all the head shaves i'm still a fan of the rx the rx5 still a fan of this shaver because of its reliability okay let's wrap it up a quick mention that we've got the rx7 out now as well which is the upgrade of the rx5 now i've got a video about that you can take a look at in the description where i've done I've, I've done the pair of them together and a separate review for the rx rx7 so the next video coming up if you're interested in it is going to be for the school shaver platinum this is the next one up on the the school shaver gold that i've previously reviewed and video this there's a review on a website for this but i want to get a web a, a video out to you guys as well do feel free to drop a comment and I'll, I'll soon get back to you i get quite a lot of comments on the on the on the, the youtube videos um, one one recently was a guy who said oh you've lost a lot of weight and you're looking well great and i had to comment back to him he didn't realize that i this i'd lost this weight through getting gastritis now if anybody knows what chronic gastritis is like it's it's not it's, it's not fun at all however it was it was nice that he noticed this and um you know so if you ever want to lose weight grab yourself some chronic gastritis and you'll you'll lose it like that you're kidding you don't want to go through chronic gastritis honestly but anyway yes drop a comment and i'll, I'll, I'll do what i can to reply and, and give you further advice or you can let me know what your experience was with the rx5